There we go. Then we'll get one of the two division cores over here. There we go. There's one of the bigger divisions, all bigger cores over here. So what we'll do with this one is... That's going to be taken by one of those. We could have another smaller one over here. And the three one, and then the five one could be over here. There we go. And then where's the three unit core? I've lost track of my units. Oh, there's a four division. Oh, there's four division. Okay. Oh, right now I remember. Right, this isn't moving yet. Okay, so I wanted you to get in here. In the in between the rivers area, and then you could be over here about. So that's taken by those two. We'll need to have someone in there. Actually, we'll have two in there. Because I believe that is that might be on the same side of the river as the enemies are. Or Hungarian, sorry. Not the enemies yet. They will be. Let's put in one expansion plans. Or mine investment. Ooh. I could invest in the chromite. You know what? We'll do that. It's going to take six months, but that should be alright. Neutrality happened. We lost the propaganda things. Steel production. Advances. And... We can now get the body armor, but I usually don't take that one. Although, um, it does increase the morale. The, the fact is the speed is lowered so much. I usually, I don't think it's necessarily worthwhile. Although the morale, how many things does it affect? Well, rather, does it affect any of the transport units? No, it's mostly just the infantry. Right, so I don't think we necessarily need that one. Oh, and another thing that we probably got is the aluminium now, but it takes a while for us to actually get the modifiers from them. Not to mention we need to wait for the months to take over for a little while anyway. Uh, we can lower the consumer goods here a little bit. Do we have... Right, so that's the light infantry division. Uh, another one for the mountaineers, then we've got more engineers. So I think what we might want to do is get a... just a... Good old regular infantry division as well, on the production queue already. And infrastructure projects and secretary of public information, supply transport and supply organization, so that's all of them. And being now cancelled. On the research queue, that is. Uh, let's see, so we got those underway. Is there anything over here that we haven't... Oh, right, the coal liquidation. I suppose we could start doing that. And the artillery stuff, we got get the heavy AA guns and upgrade. Um, sure, we haven't used them much yet, but we will probably use quite a bit of them later on in this playthrough. So getting the text now would save us a little bit of time later. Yeah, that's kind of the idea that I have. Like, uh, I will have some divisions, kind of, um meant to be heavier division, especially like the heavy AA gives you pretty good piercing, well exactly one of the best piercing attacks in the game. It also gives you a decent attack against the aircraft units, or like bombers and that sort of stuff, so it gets uh, good defensiveness, or good survivability let's just say. Of course the downside is that it's like um Actually, how much was the difference in um, IC and the time? Heavy A is um, about four times as expensive in terms of IC, and it takes about twice as long to build. So it's um, quite expensive in comparison. But like having some of those will be certainly useful. I'm going to postpone the plans for three months, at least. Okay, so we have a bit more extra in there. We're going to get our first industry in Bucharesti in 1937. Well, oh, that's going to take a while then. Oh, steel armor casting and welding and all that. There we go, so we can get 
Uh, probably those from the research queue now. I don't think we need them currently, and we're going to get this one in. We can get more of the artillery upgrades later. Uh, we've got 105% officer ratio right now. It's not the best, but it will do. Now, here's the question. Where do we want to have our bombers? I might send in my interceptors into Zagreb. And that's going to be a smart place for it. The bombers could be down here, probably, so they'll have a bit larger area to support in. At least for the time being. But yeah, we'll have um, quite a strong assault in Albania, I reckon. Oh, uh, there's some sort of... Something was happening there, but I'm not entirely sure what. Do I have that much? No, I'm not going to trade with everyone that asks to buy my supplies. While it would be nice for the money, it's also the fact that we do need supplies right now ourselves. And quite a bit of it, actually. And we do... Oh, well, yeah, we're losing a bit of money. Oh, yeah, a bit of money as well. Although, once the day changes, or once the trade deals are finalized, it should be fine. Let's actually go ahead and get the first infantry army into Belgrade. That should be alright. We got so many de negative modifiers for IC right now. And we got basically zero bonus in there. Although no, okay, now it's going up a little bit. Good. We got quite a bit of IC in supply production, but we need it. Um. But yeah, as soon as we get the home front modifier removed in September, we'll take over Albania and then we'll have that removed for October, which is when we'll start attacking Hungary. And we'll hopefully get Hungary done quickly. I mean, Hungary has a decent bit of troops. It's less than Yugoslavia. But they'll have a, like a pretty good air coverage for the most part. So that is something that we'll need to be somewhat careful with. Also, you, you, yeah, you're not doing anything right now. Good. How much have you got on experience? About 70% for the uh, flying boats. What about the bombers? I know that they got a bit more. Actually, it's about 18%. They've taken so much casualties that it dropped that down, I guess. Okay, it's already September. Now we just need to wait for the modifiers to re be removed, and then we'll do Albania. Chitulescu removed. Okay. Oh, there we go. Uh, we can order some tanks from the Czechs. It's going to be a lot less money for a while. It's 500 supplies, but that's not really too bad. Uh, we get three units. And yes, I do want to have motorized engineers. Right, so let's go ahead and take these three. Turn them into a division. We can also get the other... Oh, wait a minute. It's Oh, it's on the... Other unit. Here we are. Antonescu can join there. And then that will join Alberto's rapid troops. There's light infantry, some tanks. How good are these tanks anyway? Uh, let's see, what is their armor? Armor is 10, piercing attack 11, so... Uh, not very great, but it's tanks. Right, so we can actually send this... Well, it's probably not going to be there in time. We'll send it to Skopje anyway. Uh, we'll probably need a bit more consumer goods right now. There we go. Into war tanks, yeah. It's basically into war tanks. But, I mean, it is tanks. I'm sure that they'll be useful against the... Oh, right, actually. Let's figure out, what do we need for this? Well, we got the infantry, we can probably upgrade this into motorized infantry at some point. We might keep it light infantry for now, until we can get some of the... Oh, actually. We're going to already get the mobile unit training underway. The armor unit, well, we need to have a light armor design available, and that's going to take a while. Because for that, we need to get the pre-war armor construction to level 5. We prefer child B1s if we are into war tanks. There's a heavy tanks for the French in black. Yeah. That would be good, but unfortunately, no. Oh, there goes the wartime measures. You know what that means. We're going to war.
Right, so Battle of Tirana, there's one division defending against our three divisions. I think we'll win this. Oh, we don't need consumer users right now. Alright then. Oh, right, home front. We are going to need some consumer goods. That's a 5,000 supplies again. It gets a bit expensive on the supply side of things, but we need to farm the manpower this way. How much are we getting manpower anyway? Four per month. Okay, well, that might actually change soon. Oh. Oh, speak of the devil. Autarchy. I see efficiency for production is going to go down, but the resources is really good. Oh, and Bright Minister. Hmm. We didn't lose the unity, so we'll find we're fine. Let's also get the headquarters a little bit forward now. We'll have the these units in here. We'll have the light infantry up soon enough. We might actually assign that under Tassus Corps. Once it's ready, because we don't have the tech to make um mountaineers quite yet. Not to mention um the packed artillery. That's going to require quite a few things. Although we are getting the mountain warfare equipment eventually. Right, so the Tirana is... Yeah, this war is going to be a quick one. As it should be. Entire ammunition advance. Is that ahead of time now? Um, kind of, but not really. By the time we get back to it, it's already at 37. Right, well, now we just wait for that battle to be over. Trade deals to get some more money. We probably could, actually. Uh, we got a lot of metals now, so... Cancel that one. And that one. Maybe the Luxembourg deal as well. Right, so now we are at least getting the money. We're also... Oh, wow. <laughs> That's a bit of supplies. Sound like a return to the stockpile. Okay, so they've got 44% strength there. Oh, aluminum surplus at level 3. If someone wants to buy aluminum, I will certainly sell. I'll gladly sell it. Um, I don't know if anyone really wants it right now. Maybe Albania supplies will afford us the university. Maybe. It would be a nice thing to have, for sure. I mean, that's going to shatter very soon, isn't it? And there we go. We got the tanks already near the front line. Unfortunately, I, I'm pretty sure that they would not reach the front line, actually. Even if we tried. Yeah, there we go. The battle for Tirana has ended. And it's probably going to be the motorized there first. Oh, no. They got another defender. In that case, we'll send in the tanks in. Not that they'll reach there in any case, but who knows? I suppose we could just technically send in the planes. Which, well, they got anti aircraft guns there. I'd rather. Or anti aircraft artillery in there. I'd rather not send the planes there. Much prefer to keep them on full strength right now. So that once we're done with this war, we don't need to repair them. I'm not actually using a lot of the descent here, but that's actually not really all that bad because once we get rid of the um, home front modifiers again after this war, which is really soon, well, I mean, in the next month, we'll get rid of that. And it should be fine. Moment's going to take it down by two points in any case. There we go, we got the Tirana, and there goes Albania. Oh, it. Happened immediately. Okay. That's um, a bit of a surprising, I would say. Well, uh, let's go ahead and get the Mountaineers down here. And then Alberto's troops will be in the middle to try to push towards Budapest. So, generally speaking, as soon as the troops are ready, we could attack. Attack hunger. Yeah, exactly. We've got 15... Let's actually have a look. How much will we have supplies once the day ticks over? The troops will start moving. I might actually want to move you down to Tirana now. Oh, there's neutrality again. 
propaganda fails. Give them crude oil. Um, sure. A little bit low on money, to be fair. But since our economy is small enough, I don't think we need to worry about the. Uh, you need to have at least two thousand money. Like I'm pretty sure that these days it has a bit of a different modifiers in there. Um, where is the? Money short image. Um, money not two thousand. Base IC created in 150, and we do not have that. So we basically don't need to worry about the money as much as, as a major nation. I actually wonder, we could probably get another interceptor just in case, to get the practicals on that going up a little bit as well. Let's see, so I should be able to get... Oh, infantry support weapons advanced, good. That is definitely well, definitely ahead of time now. I'm going to cancel that one. But now that we don't need to worry about the monster dick over for the um, modifier to end, they have um, three victory points, well, uh, three points for the victory points, but we probably need to take all of them. Well, how much do they have? It... Yeah, we can take... Either Budapest and Pex, or take all three of them. In which case, is this? Oh. Well, I think I have a new plan then. What are we going to do? Hold on, where's Budapest? It, Budapest has a river for every direction. Well, lovely. Okay, uh, in that case, I'm going to have the... Um, Alberto's core over here. And over here, so we're going to take Pex immediately and then start rushing towards Budapest. We'll just hold this area, we'll probably take a little bit of land over here to kind of keep them busy. We'll just try to rush uh, Pex and Budapest. But, uh, Tepresen is okay, like it would be good if we took it, but if we don't, it's fine. Increased the all the uh, reinforcements a tiny bit, so we got over a thousand manpower again. We're getting four manpower per month, which is quite um, small. We'll have the air force as well. Hopefully, we'll be able to utilize it. Really wants to buy supplies. Okay, we've got seventeen thousand supplies now. We are producing over two hundred per day. But it's not too bad and. We just need to wait for the troops to arrive here. But I think at the latest early October is when we're going to start attacking. But yeah, um, the mountaineers are actually... This one's not across the river for these two. Okay, so we want to have three mountaineers probably here and one over there. We'll try to kind of um, cut off over here. Take the airfield there. Oh, it's in from Germany. Oh, okay. And USA buys Tungsten from China. That's a little bit surely our IC is increasing. I suppose it's mostly just uh, a lot of the modifiers are wearing off. For example, the long term in investment thing is uh, all has run out now. I suppose I'll just send these to. There, you'll get in here. We'll still wait for these to be ready to actually fight. And then from here, what we'll do is we'll send in... These two over here, and the tank, and... Oh, actually. Which one? That's the first cavalry. So, the tank and the other two cavalry will go over here. To be already on the other side of the river. That should be alright. Oh, we still have one mountaineer missing the... Support regiments. I'm not entirely... It's not this one. Oh, it was that one. Yeah, okay. Well. We'll... Oh, right, that's in October. Well, we'll try to take this and... Yeah, the... Airfield there. We'll kind of try to get a bit of a pocket here of a couple of units. Hopefully to then destroy them entirely. While we push toward... Well, not necessarily even destroy, but just surround them. Make sure that they don't cause any harm. And then just push to Budapest. 
Although we'll see how well it actually goes, but that is the initial plan at least. Oh, we do have 19,000 supplies now. Okay. How long until we... Oh, right. I think we're going to start attacking 1st of October. Oh, Italy's already in the Axis. Oh, dear. That in the back by USA. Hmm. We may have caused some issues here. Well then. Drill Australia. I can still use some fuel. Romania. No. Nah. That was quite fast indeed. I think I might be... Oh no, the highest threat is actually France. What? Huh. Our threat to them is 10. So what is France doing? Yeah, I don't know, Alberto. I don't know. I'm quite as confused. Am I at least the biggest threat on France? I am. But not even that much. Wait, are they at war? What? Oh! So they are. Well, that escalated quickly. When the heck did that happen? Oh, they might have refused Rhineland. That's true. So has Germany been at war for a while now? No, it's just... Oh, yeah, it's just a war at France, so it must have been the Rhineland. Okay. Well, I guess it sucks to be Germany. Although, now that Italy has joined in, France might have to retreat some troops there, so it might be a bit more balanced war. Piano, I don't think I've seen that before. We've been focusing on uh, unifying the Balkans here, and then suddenly France goes into Germany. Okay, so these troops are just... Oh, right, that's actually not in there yet. Playing a different checksum. <laughs> Possibly. No, I mean, usually there is like 1% chance of that happening or something like that. So we may have just gotten very lucky. Or unlucky, depending on who you ask. Okay, so we got troops ready. I think we'll start on... Tomorrow morning. The war against Hungary. There we go. I'm actually going to, just in case, save this. We, we do have auto saves, but, you know, if something goes really badly, we can return at least. Right, declare. Bunker. Righto. Let's go ahead and take a. Actually, I'm going to send these three to attack first. I'm going to take, um, well, probably all these three attack there. Um, these two can attack there. You can go there. Get over there. You attack there, you give a bit of support attack. Advance? Indeed. Um, you're the weakest one over there of the mountaineers. You'll stay back. The rest of those can go forward. And now we... Oh, right. Uh, <laughs> first thing first, manpower. And now we can reduce the... Well, actually, no. We'll keep the descent reduction in there. The Pex is already under... Oh, wow, yeah. <laughs> There's one division defending. It has a little bit piercing attack, but it's not enough to... against the tanks here. So it might be getting through that quite nicely. Let's go ahead and send in some planes to do ground attack there. 